In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a camera that follows the players around and whenever they walk into a different room, it updates accordingly depending on which room they're in. Alright, so I'm on a new base plate here. So first thing I'm going to do is create our box for the players to walk in. So here I'm just going to create a part. I'm just going to make something real simple. Just make a square here, just like this. Size it up and I'm just going to make this 0.9, 0 0.9 or 0 0.8 on the transparency just so we can see it slightly get rid of the cast shadow and I'm just going to pick a random color and at the very top we're going to want to add in a part this is basically going to be our camera I'm just going to put it where I think is the middle like that and I'm going to call this part the camera position if I can spell camera position and the other part I'm going to call that our zone and I'm just going to grab these two items and I'm just going to uh, group them into a model just like that and I'm going to rename this to room just like that and um, one more thing is that I forgot to make these both these parts can collide to false so just like that so the player can go into the room and one more thing that we're going to need here is to make sure that our parts are anchored and if you don't have this, uh, one thing we need to do is on our model here in tags, we were going to want to give it a tag. So just click on the plus button and I'm going to call this one here uh, room, room, just like that. And my tag has been created. So that's it for the first part here. All right, before we can continue on here, the first thing we're going to need to get is a module called the zone module here. I'll put a link in the description to uh, where you can find this uh, module here. But that's what we're going to be using. All right, so after you have the module, uh, inside of a starter player and starter character script, we're going to make a local script. This is where it's going to do all the camera stuff and just everything for our player. It's all going to be on the client side. So first thing we're going to do here is uh, get our services. So I'm going to need local rr equals game get service replicated storage that's what i call my variable rr for replicated storage because that's where our module is yes, there we go and one thing we're going to need is a run service local rs equals game get service run service and our collection service for our tag local cs equals oops, cs equals game get service collection service there we go and we're gonna require our module so i'm gonna say here uh, make a comment dependent C's and I'm gonna say local zone equals require rr that uh, zone just like that that's how we're going to be requiring our module we'll also need to grab the variables for our player so player uh, local players equals game get service players and get the local player by doing local player equals players that local player I'm also gonna grab the character local character equals player that character or player that character added weight so if it doesn't grab the character right away it's gonna wait a little bit before uh, it's gonna uh, wait when it's added to grab the character um, one thing I'm gonna do here is also grab our camera system camera which is local camera equals workspace that current camera and I'm just going to start uh, scripting the camera here by doing camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable. So we want to be able to script our camera, do camera dot camera subject equals player dot character. The camera dot camera subject equals player dot character. That's just so it points to our character. Um, so one thing we're going to do here is make a variable called local current room. That's basically going to we're basically going to use this to update to uh, whatever room we're in or we just stepped in. So what we're going to do here is say for underscore zone and pairs collection service get tagged. And if you remember the uh, tag we put for the model here, it is room. So we'll just do room and do this. So what we want to do here is say local uh, room is going to be equals to uh, zone, which is our module dot new 
and we're going to say uh, what we want to use as the part is going to be this zone here, this big part of our model. So we're going to say uh, zone, zone, just to make sure you don't confuse the module zone with the zone in the model is what we're calling zone. Uh, actually, I'm going to rename this to models just so it doesn't get confusing. We're going to say model dot zone, just like that. And I'm going to say um, room that player entered connect function. And it's going to get the player. We're just going to do a print that says player entered zone. And I'm just going to do um, player that name. Just like that. Oops. I need to try to save that. Okay. So if I were to go ahead and play this, um, and we look at the, actually, where is it? Actually, let's drag this right uh, above the spawn point. So we spawn at the zone. As you can see, our camera might be a little bit funky because we haven't updated it yet. But as you can see on the uh, log, we are getting uh, a print that says player entered zone. And it gives us our username. All right, stop that. And so what we want to do is we want to update this to... Uh, say that uh, our current room is equals to this part here. So we're just going to do what we're just going to do here is say current room equals to the model. OK, and once we have that, we're going to work on the run service, which is going to be actively updating our camera. So what we're going to do here is run service that render stepped connect function. And here we're just going to do if current room, if a room exists and it's not nil, it's going to do camera dot C frame equals C frame dot new. We're going to grab the camera, which is going to be the current room dot camera position dot position. What that's going to do is grab the model and it's going to look for the part called camera position. And we're just going to grab that position. And one more thing we're going to add in is the look vector, which is going to be the player. So this is a look at, uh, part here where we're going to just going to add the player which is going to be uh, character that primary part that position so it always points to the player primary part Oops. and if I were to go ahead and play this it should work oops uh, position I misspell let me fix that real quick 23 position P -O -I position there we go and if I go ahead and play this Boom, there we go. As you can see here, we are uh, following the player. I mean, the camera is following the player just like how we wanted. Um, it is looking a little bit uh, colored, like it has like a filter. It's because it's above the uh, part here. So we've just dragged this in a little bit where it's inside. We'll no longer be seeing that. So boom, there we go. As you can see here, oops. <laughs> Uh, our camera follows our player just like this and if you wanted to uh, when we go into like different rooms follow the or change camera uh, we can just duplicate this model here I'm just gonna do this I'm just gonna move it like on all sides just like this and just to show that we are like in a different room I might add some structure here real quick give me one second all right, so I've added up uh, mini walls at, on my uh, base plate here. So if I go ahead and click play, as you can see here, uh, it shows us our first zone, first room that we have set up our camera in. And if I were to walk over to this zone here, as you can see, it updates my camera just like the way I wanted to. And if I were to walk into this room here, it updates it as well. And you can play around with this uh, wherever you want to set up your camera. If I wanted to set up my camera like Let's say this corner, whenever the player walks in, and let me just grab this one. And if I want to put this one here, oops, if I can grab it, if I want to put it like maybe over here and this one here, if I want the camera to be like on the side, maybe like this. And if I were to play this and try to go into those rooms, my camera's going to be a little bit weird, but you'll see that it works. Boom, there we go. Our camera is like on the side. And if I walk in this one, the camera is going to be different as well. And let me check 
the other two as well. Okay, this one's just pretty much just the corner. And I think that is all. Yeah, that is about all. So as you can see here, uh, our code works and our camera updates each time we go into like a different room. And that is it for the tutorial here. Yeah, as you can see, our camera follows our player. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below and if you have any suggestions for another tutorial. But other than that, thank you guys for watching the video and have a good day.